Hey you guys, it's your girl Star J Craziness. And she now. And we're let's talk about it. So we're going to go over. Uh where is we going over? What is that? <laughs> I'll soon be go. What is that? Oh, why you worried about you? Anyway, saying? we are going to be talking about the real housewives of Atlanta. And I'm cold, y'all. That's why I got on this jacket. Whatever. It's freezing. Whatever. Um, I'm okay. To, I'm trying to give y'all um What's that model name? I forgot her name. We don't care. We don't care. We're That's here why you to look like our your mama on. trying to cook some syrup but put on some waffles and pancakes. Where my eggs at? <laughs> I ain't going nowhere with that. I ain't going nowhere with that. I'm trying to get through this sad story. You're like a blizzard. <sighs> sad story of events of the Real Housewives or lack thereof drama. No, no, no! It was some drama in um some scenes. I- I'm gonna well, she gonna that. talk about that because I didn't see any drama worth well, really um, getting into. No, with uh, Mama Joyce. <laughs> no, Mama Joyce is just acting <laughs> like <laughs> a total. I a-hole. think they gave her a peach. Undercover. Total a hole. I'm like, when did she get her peach? Because it never got pop. It never got approved or bypassed by us, which <laughs> y'all the viewers of the show. Okay, we want her to be seen, not heard. Just like Aunt Bertha. And the other aunt, I don't know what her name is. What her other aunt name? I don't know, she but they be, both play their part. The one that used to hang out with Todd's mama. Yeah, but okay. they both play their part. They play their role. They are seen. They are... If you ask them something, they'll say it. They speak when they're spoken to. But that's it. And they're in the back. And she always... And Bertha always got her purse just clenching on to <laughs> Like Medea. <laughs> Like, what you got packing in there? I know, like, what you got... Ah, anyway, they play their role real good. They're nice, pleasant, and off scene, off camera, pretty much. Where Mama Joyce needs to be off camera. Because we can just talk about her and then we can move on. I don't know what Mama Joyce was doing in this scene. Where she gonna go playing like she's some undercover agent that <laughs> need to retire. Because they don't lost all of their... What do you call it? Etiquette of trying to be a spy without really trying oh, no, to spy. Oh, this is how she looked. Wait a minute. She was like one of them black and white movies how those actresses get dressed up and they have the whole turban thing going on with the winter jacket. <laughs> yes, but hers was tan. <laughs> with the black shades and they always using, I'm just going to say, the Real Housewives lawyers. A lawyer, Kessler. Yes, that's just a lawyer for that. I was like, wait a minute. He just must be just a full-blown entertainment lawyer. Because that's why I was like, uh, every time you see something going on, he they show up at his office. I'm like, this is ridiculous. But anyway, she goes on to call herself investigating Phaedra. <laughs> I'm like, what? And Apollo's uh, divorce decree. But she, he, she said that since Phaedra went for Candy, she has to go for Phaedra. I'm trying to figure out what when, did she do? When, when, when did... When did Phaedra go for Candy? I mean, that had totally been resolved on another scene and had nothing to do with going to bats. It, we, it's always about Todd. And yeah. what Todd wasn't getting paid and this, that, and the other for helping her with some exercise DVD or whatever. But she didn't come for Candy. She didn't ask for none of Candy money or Maybe none of it, that. It might have been behind the scenes. It we really doesn't matter. But I, I'm pretty sure it was still something tied up with Todd. And Apollo and their business dealings or what. And I had nothing to do with Mama Joyce. Nothing. Okay, nothing. Just like this situation with Apollo. And whether him and Phaedra are trying to prolong their divorce. For the TV and the cameras and the views. It still had nothing to do with Mama Joyce. I'm like, okay, Mama Joyce. If you really want to be on TV, give me something of your uh, life. Let me see your men. Let me see how you conduct yourself uh, when you, you go out with your lady friends and, and how y'all be kicking it up and this, that, and the third. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see you getting into Candy's business. And I'm really getting, I'm frowning upon Candy once again. Why are you letting your mother take so much of your spotlight in this reality show? Because it's not needed. It's like, uh, what, what does she have on you, honey? Why do you feel that you have to... You know, let her have TV shine when she need to go start her something. She don't need to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta getting into your shade. She need to start some shade of her own. I'm really wanting, like I told my daughter, for Phaedra Mama to come at Mama Joyce. That would be a sight to see. And that would be very, truly good drama and entertainment to see what Mama Joyce is really made of. Because she's getting into your 
uh, your circle of friends or, or, or acquaintances. And she has no reason to really be there. Be a grandmama to Riley and baby Ace and, and keep it moving on that form and that front. But I'm just sick of her. I was sick of her, her innuendos, her trying to throw up stuff, talking about Phaedra handling these so called no name rappers and wanting to <laughs> blow her this? up because what of her ethics drama, and drama? stuff. <laughs> yeah, her name was Drama Drama. I'm like, you can't speak on them folks, Mama Joyce. You don't know nothing about that life. No, when, when they first brought Phaedra to the scene, her and Apollo, then she had this man drop off like a wad of money outside of it the establishment. Was that establishment. him? I don't establishment. think that was him. Yeah. No, I was just saying she messed with some shady That's people. That's right. Oh. So I want Mama Joyce. She ain't about that life. Can ain't even about that life. She couldn't stay with Block. And, <laughs> okay. and that mess that they got going on. I think his ex-wife done got on uh, the radio show station. Yeah, she she put her two cents in. I'm like, Child. go ahead, girl. When they bring your name and something you didn't ask to be brought in, go on and get your two cents in, honey. Get your side so of the story. So Candy already got mess on her right, right. now. Right, but see that what drives the mm-hmm. show's ratings. Give me more entertainment mm-hmm. with Block and her i don't need no more entertainment with mama joyce no i need to have and then it's the, uh i was just like no i'm done with mama joyce every time i think i'm about to put this thing on pause because i really don't want to hear what she's saying because she feels she has to defend another grown-ass woman which is her daughter and i'm like come on the only safe thing i saw that candy really stepped up her game on and deflecting a situation that could have been bad is when Mama Joyce went and grabbed Phaedra as she was coming into this little. No, she was being. Sh- Hold on, are oh, you talking about Candy? Yeah. I about to say Mama Joyce was being. Sh- no, I'm saying game. no. She came I and sh- got Mama Joyce for trying to make another bad situation that's gonna probably come out when reunion time come around mm-hmm. or probably the next episode. Like, why your mama coming to me? It's between me and you, Mama Joyce. I ain't got nothing against Mama Joyce because she don't want my mama to come up to him. They be fighting while we still having words. Now, I'm like, okay, Candy, thank you for coming to get your mama because she had no more time to have no private conversation with nobody in your circle of, of friends or acquaintances. It was, that was a hot mess. And I'm thinking she's saying, you know, I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, she, blah, but blah, she could have waited and let, brought she that to the to table. She's going to up stuff talking about some you and Apollo doing this and that. And then I, I'm like, really? I, that scene, really not. I'm like, are y'all paying Mama Joyce now? Is she getting like a side check like Peter want to get too? <laughs> I'm telling you, these people who irrelevant. It's just being relevant too much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't take it. I could, but that's all I had to say about Phaedra for the rest of this taping. Uh, you have anything else you want to talk about? About Phaedra, she really didn't have no uh, part on this, except for that. Right. No, uh, her getting bombarded by uh, or bombarded by um, Candy Mama. Okay. Other than that, we're gonna move on to um. No, we might as well just stay at this table scene now, so I can um, so I can get it uh, get it off and get it good. Okay, go. Okay, my only thing I gotta say about Porsche at this table scene, this just shows no, me. No, we're not talking about individual people, so we can just wrap I'm it on, up. I'm on Porsche now. Okay. And we still gonna be just talking about Porsche. Yeah, but I just wanted to get this out. Um. Okay, yeah, Porsche. When her uh, mom and sister, they was at her house or whatever, and she made the stupidest comment. It's like, did you even pay attention in school? Did you even pay attention in school? What she said, she said the lease is up within what forty five days, right? That's what she said, and she said that's what like three three weeks, or three months. See, she want me to talk about Portia, but I <laughs> gave up on her a long time no, ago when she no, called the Congress. Need, no, no, when she called her, the Congressman. Her mama, her mama should when, be cracked. No, up no, when she her, called her, the Congresswoman a man on last episode, I was through. I no, said I can't take Portia no, antics no more. Her mama should be whooped up the crack in her butt for letting her say that. She don't even need to be on camera if she's not gonna speak. With correctness, like who? Somebody need to go over their lines. Well, uh, I'm telling you, somebody need to go over the line. No, evidently, maybe Portia's dad side was related to. What you, who you who you trying to Jose take off? Okay, I'm just saying because evidently her mama really not stepping in trying to educate Portia on her little. Because this is not the first. I did exactly. That won't say because you know how you marry into a family. And you on one side, and you have your father's side, and your mother's side. I'm thinking maybe her father's side was related to the uh, Jose Williams. Well, people. this is where I have a PSA announcement. 
Anybody related to Portia needs to sit her down and give her history lesson and some and some language art lessons, some uh what is it, science lessons. What else we got in um school that they made us learn? Math, I mean, cause math matter, skills, math matter. skills. Because I'm not understanding how she keep coming out with these dumb, dumb comments. She's the typical stereo. She's the stereotypical thing when they say about a dumb blonde airheads we know that's not really true now because we their, oh. their blondes are really smart very intelligent and but they play the role sometimes when they want to get a certain position or you know part in something so they play it but they're not actually dumb beautiful lady but dumb up top I can't okay care. she's a walking beauty <laughs> that's it walking beauty nothing else to even try to put forth she's a walking man viewed as a sexual toy and very beautiful, you know, put on your arm when you're going places. But for her to open up her mouth in any other capacity, no ma'am. No ma'am. Okay, so anything else you want to say about her? What else? Uh, oh, Portia. When they was at the, uh, tasting, Ella, what is it? What's they, uh? Some, uh, pop-up shop she don't put yeah. together because Candy felt like she needed to shut all the haters down but no baby you didn't they were talking about when is your restaurant they probably know when how is your aunt and mama throw down some food exactly they know y'all gonna come with it when it comes to the food they want to see the ambiance. they want to see the actual building they want to see somewhere that really, they can look in who, peep in and talk let, about let me see what your money working with they evidently it's not it's working slow for <laughs> you to be in, in in entertainment business or whatever because you, you uh, that, but we're going to get on candy when we talk about candy. But, my thing but we're talking Portia, about Portia now. When Sheree had said, and Sheree, you know you, you shaded for this, but I guess that's what they're using you for this season, to be shaded, bring some stuff on out. But see, that's why you say when we talk about specific Yeah, people. but this is related to Portia, because this is how we got on it. Okay, hurry up. Okay, don't be rushing me. <laughs> See, this is why I this is why I cannot work with her because she always trying to rush somebody. But when she talks, she gonna have this drawn out. Oh but, my gosh, let me get my point across. Right, because you go, then you fade out. <laughs> I just had the whole camera to myself because you be like, no, I can't take it. Well, you fade on out. Okay. I still see your boob <laughs> and your shoulder. Get back in the camera. Oh, don't mind. Then you knock out the thing. But yeah, you can't have it both ways. Okay? Why need you just, just to chill? But you need to come on with the this. Like, you give her too much camera time. Chill. And she ain't worth it. Don't I'm just saying. No, yes, yeah, she not on my time, you ain't, because they didn't give her too much to deal with today. Talking about she want to get married and buy this big old house and. No, oh, why she wants to buy it though? She said she wants to buy. That's why I'm saying we were supposed to stay on each person oh, this, uh, we, but this is still dealing with Portia uh, uh, she wants to marry uh, Talk another to the camera, not me. she wants to marry another man named Stuart last name like who, Cordell Stewart? Did they make up his name? I don't know. Because it's so I'd ironic be how Todd, Todd, okay, be but they kind of maybe similar sort of look alike the man I, I don't know because it's, it's a lot of fake fool, foolery going around in this show. But like I said, it, it, the whole scene, I, they could have cut Portia out. I didn't care to see her mother show her her, her figure. I'm like, wait a minute. Is this the, the accessory mama. show with the mothers? I'm the like, mama we can't even get past you. <laughs> I mean, I find your sister more entertaining with intellectualness than you, Portia. And she done had a baby and look good and still trying to do the thing, get off your coin and everything by being your assistant. But I'm just, uh, 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 I, I can't. Are you through? We didn't talk about Portia when, uh, the block situation. When we'll Sheree. go back and we can put that with Candy. All right, fine then. Go on, talk with you. I can't do it. Okay. We're going to talk about Cynthia. Very little to say about her. She made an appearance trying to be filming with Kenya mostly. And she goes to some lawyer's office, her lawyer's office, uh, who gives her advice saying, well, yeah, I'll talk to Peter. Because she was complaining that Peter was making public appearances on the Wendy Williams show and this, that, and that. He's trying to get his coin, honey. You ain't trying to get him no money from the settlement of y'all divorce, which I'm, I'm fine with that, too. And glad he decided not to do it. But he's getting filming time on this Bravo show with, with you know, the Real House of Liza Winner. I guess he got a peach on the table, too. 
but uh, maybe he's getting a side check here and there. But anyway, you go to your lawyer complaining to my I didn't want him to make us look like in a bad light. I'm like, honey, divorce looks and reflects on both couples, okay? It just is what it is. And for you to sit there and your lawyer try to tell you basically, uh, well, this is a good hurt when it comes to divorce. Ain't nothing good about divorce, man. Like, where is she getting this man from? Have he ever been divorced before or even knew anybody uh, coming in for a divorce? But for him to tell her that this is good pain, there is no nothing good about ending a relationship whether it's lasted three weeks to three or uh, 34 years you know what i'm saying there's nothing it's like a death has happened because you thought you was going to be with this person the child just got drunk crazy and went to las vegas and woke up the next morning like what do we do you know what i'm saying that type of thing and you can easily uh get that annulled because that was just a uh, you know one time on the whim thing y'all got drunk y'all felt lonely y'all like well let's just be together you know and that, that kind of thing but it wasn't that kind of thing so i don't know what uh cynthia is going with this and the rest of the stuff she was showing through the show i could care less because it was talking about kenya and matt and I, I, I didn't care about that I'm talking about oh and she said if matt acting like a child he need to go back to his mama like no, you need to go back to your mama because she tried to. <laughs> she tried to. She a bore, a bore. Uh, okay. She tried she to throw. save you from crazy slags. Peter. She tried to throw flags on the play when you talking about you wanted to get married on the day of your wedding. She tried to steal the wedding license for y'all to kind of sign off on. She was giving you all kinds of no warnings, no. But you didn't heed. So how you gonna tell somebody to go back to their mama? I don't think so. Anything else for Cynthia? No, she was a uh, non motherfucker in this mm. one. Okay. Shout out to Evelyn. Okay. Uh, mm. da, 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 da. Okay. okay, we're going to go to Phaedra. Phaedra we tells did us. Phaedra. No, did we, we didn't. No, we did uh, Mama Joyce. Oh, yes, they I know. all just running together. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. There's nothing, <laughs> no, no real storyline going on. <laughs> so we moved to Phaedra. Phaedra goes on to tell us about this thing with this drama guy <laughs> showing up at the wrong office. <laughs> he looked off when they flashed back to him. I'm okay. Like, <laughs> and he was trying to say he was bringing some uh, dope. She was trying to say. Yeah, he was. she was trying mm -hmm. to say that he was bringing some dope material for her to listen to that was going to blow up. And they had just misconstrued everything. That, I understand how they can flip that story, especially when you got reporters in Atlanta saying <laughs> one thing. But she going to come on him, <laughs> show another one. And then she looked like she got the Muslim behind her and her security team trying now. to do some self defense you know I'm like are you serious <laughs> I, man go on and get a real team or a, 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 what do you call it Ackerman security system I don't think you need a bodyguard up there okay it ain't that kind of party oh you don't God. roll like that oh you know you might but I, I don't think so <laughs> she dealing with them shady you know what I'm saying you, yeah. and you're supposed to be an entertainment lawyer <laughs> I can't. Oh, I, I mean, can't. I don't know who she that did. And the only people they always refer her to is Bobby Brown. We know how old and he is. didn't win no cases for. Her. And look at his financial situation. Oh, he trying to get money from his daughter. Um, boyfriend, oh, and he has no money. So we're gonna see how that play out. But anyway. Uh, that was pretty much with Phaedra because her storyline is pretty much dead. <laughs> they um, trying to revive it. Mom, let me see you. This is your chest and this is Phaedra. <laughs> Flatline. <laughs> Call it. Dead at 622. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, 10 or 8, whatever. I just got up with it because the flat line is just we call it how we see it, okay? No more oxygen there. No more life. The only people who gave me um, I, entertainment we finna was go, Kenya and We finna go talk about Matt. Kenya and Matt. And I'll let Shawson talk about it. Dang, stop. <laughs> Government name. Oh well, come on. Because it was just uh, it, Tom Foolery once who again. Who miss? Oh, go to Candy so I can get over her and her crazy ponytail that lean to the side i don't even know why she still had it because people done drug her from south china to asia to new mexico to the netherlands okay about that hairstyle it wasn't really picture perfect for her to be you know a public figure and she's out there all the time and people read it at I a just drop, like her natural look. that'll drop her down to take a photo an uh, unflattering photo of her and they did a lot of times okay but anyway she goes on to pretty much um her whole storyline was basically built around the uh restaurant being built 
Todd come up there with his little short body and his little <laughs> backpack. Like he, where are you going for like one? Like Mr. Fixer. You don't have a tube belt on. You don't have no power drills around you. I, I don't know what's going but on. But then she brought up a liquor license. Yeah, you know, the on a restaurant. You know, you have more adult No, I know, but people. what they got to do with him? He's talking about... The building had to be in occupancy before they... That's really going to sell her, her, her restaurant is the liquor. liquor. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, he don't have his. No. And he's stalling about getting it. That's what no, I'm no, he about. don't. No, it's the liquor license is just for the business, period. He's talking about... Get, she talking about when we're going to get this construction up because you can't have any occupancy or also, any of that. I think she's also getting on him. Yeah, he, yeah, him. yeah, because he, he, he don't know what he's doing. He, and he even admitted in this episode he's out his uh, ring. I'm like, man, you just like a boomerang. You just keep coming back with destruction. She just keep... I mean... Candy, you know people out there. Even if you don't know somebody particular, and you know no no people that know no. Well, this people. is this is just saying the uh, facts, rumors, whatever you want to call it. That she can't pay her people. She can't pay them if people can't stay around. And they did have a story, rumor or not, they had a story that she couldn't pay the construction workers that's supposed to be working on this restaurant. That's why Ty is SOL. That's why he's trying to scrape up and do some stuff around the uh, restaurant knowing damn well he's a pretty boy. He can't pick up no damn tool. <laughs> <laughs> I got my blood pressure up. <laughs> no. It goes back to state that people were telling the truth can take care of me. Because I don't see how he can go from being in the entertainment business producing and being film production. What happened to his uh, show yet with Countess Vaughn? Is that canceled? Like done? It should have been done the Benito. first time. It, 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 uh, it's called, what did it say? <laughs> un momento. And it just stayed on that un momento in one minute. It, it, we don't know what Carlos King did with the money, but it didn't get no air, more, air, air time. Oh, but, we ain't going to talk about that. No, we're not. But we're going to go back to him in that one lane that he said he had some little I know plenty of people in the industry that can put them on. He still ain't been put on. Now he got to come around here and do some construction work. <laughs> he got to get dirty now. And I'm like, <laughs> when are you and Matt ever share some time out there at the construction worker site? i never seen you there. I've seen Matt there. Looks real well. Know how to wear a tube belt. And it's not just for shenanigans. You know what I'm saying? Like a stripper thing. No, he know how to use a hammer, a saw, a drill. Todd. You don't look like you know how to do anything of hard labor, son. Okay? So, I'm willing to bet, and I'm not a betting woman, you done messed up the money that Candy gave you initially to hire a legit contractor. Putting faith in you to do this thing. No, he probably hired somebody and he took half of the money and promised that I, I can go on for days about how this scenario probably worked itself out. But money was wasted. Now she looking at Todd to come up out of his pocket with the money that was wasted. And he don't really want to do it. He want to do the side action. Because the uh, how it's looking, the building is not ready for occupancy. occupancy. And it occupancy. Occupancy? Occupancy. Whatever. Y'all know where I'm going with it. it. It's just not ready. And yeah, you're going to have to refile for your re uh, uh, reissuing of your... Um, site to have someone come out to check your property for everything being ready to have people come in and partake of the spirits you know what i'm saying the alcohol beverages but they can't do it until you get that final okay from the building permitting people and you, i don't know how much money it is to get a liquor license you know you know to get it renewed but i know it was a pretty penny for you to even get the paperwork started okay so yes you're going to be wasting that money as well but the whole issue that you keep giving Todd these simple tasks and he keep messing money up. I don't know what's going on with the reality TV scene anyway. Because we don't have so many incidents of this late of this lately. Like it goes back to, um, what's her name? Uh, Deidre that was on uh, Cutting in ATL. She didn't have no permit. Like where are these contractors y'all get and they can't get these permits? Like, I'm confused. Mm -mm. And she college educated. <laughs> just don't and understand. call herself street savage. So I'm like, something is a deficit somewhere. Somewhere that they didn't take lessons and get approved uh, for their uh, classes. Maybe they bought their grades. I'm not really sure. 
when it comes to Todd, Todd I just don't know. It's just been a, a complete question mark, okay? Because he's not showing me his viability in getting anything on his own. And it just falls back to me thinking Candy does take care of her man. But she needs to not give them money. Just set them up or whatever. And, and say, go do what you can do on your own. But I'll front you on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Keep him off the camera. Keep him from with her. You know, let him play. Have some play time. He just don't need to be on here. Not as much as he is. Because he's not really a factor. This is about Housewives of Atlanta. I wish they'd get back to that whole genre of why we're really here because he's not looking good and then on last episode he's talking about he don't want that to happen to him and candy well it's gonna become a financial issue if you keep fucking up money dog it's gonna come to that because she don't have that kind of money to be wasting to have two kids i'm sure she's gonna put the, through college or make sure they sit in whatever endeavors they want to go to you know when they get old enough to make their decisions but if they want to take over your companies uh, that you're leaving behind as a legacy, especially with Miss Mama Riley, you're going to have to have something left for her to expire. You know, if Todd's spending all the money frivolously, then it's not going to be much left. But okay, I'm that's all I got yeah, for her. Then we go to... Oh, yeah. But uh, we forgot about one scene. When they was at the uh, table and Sheree, she brought up the whole... Oh, Candy, you didn't tell me um what happened with you on block. You know, we didn't finish our oh, conversation. Sheree. Yeah, she wanted to follow up. And Candy like, no, this girl didn't just put And it was a private black. it was a private conversation that she had with us, the viewers, mm -hmm. and Sheree. And she's just gonna like, let's have a follow up with all the women. I mean, she did the same mess with Kim Fields, remember? Oh yeah. Same mess. So I'm like, I'm okay. Bring, bring, who's gonna be X'd out? Sheree <laughs> or Kenya because we can't have both of them doing the same thing okay so um she said her little spill about it and then that's why like I said they had brought Port well Sheree brought Portia into it Tell her something. oh yeah but then she date then he date Portia as well and then everybody was like oh no she didn't yeah, yes she did yeah. and then Ken had to quickly put it back on her like oh no i dated her, him before mm -hmm. portia i was there before like it doesn't matter if you before you both the dated him. guess what you both dated him and you uh got messed up by him but portia didn't get a baby out of thing okay because it's well, allegedly you had was a side chick that knew he was married you knew his situation but yet you still got yourself knocked up even though it's a lot of contraceptives that could have prevented that so it is what it is okay anything else because it was butt naked dry once again with the, putting our little sauces on it to find some kind of comical review for you all now regarding this, this episode. The only thing that really just had me, it was the table scene that they had with the girls uh, testing out the food and Matt crazy self. I don't even know what's, I'm confused on this whole situation. So apparently he left went to california and like i told y'all in my uh, other video if y'all watch my channel he didn't he didn't want to come back kenya made him come back like i need you for this storyline can you come back well she pretty much mm -hmm. paid him but he didn't think it was gonna be the it wasn't gonna be him. like this so um she got did the okie doke on him so well that was before he came back so he ended up busting out her window her uh to her garage and here goes Cynthia calling, oh my gosh, you need to leave him, blah, blah, blah. So he called and be like, well, can I come over, you know, before we end this completely? Can you think about it? Because I want to be back with you, blah, blah, blah. She's like, yeah, you can come over. But she didn't say that the camera people were going to be gone. So he come over so there. But she did say the camera people they're were wrapping leaving. up. They're no, like, she said they're wrapping up from filming for the day. But she didn't say they leaving out the driveway. That's what he said. He was like, why did you set me up? And he didn't set her up because he saw the crew. <laughs> he should have kept no, he, no, he was like, you ambushed me. <laughs> well, no, once he saw the cameras rolling, he should have been rolling on. I said, no, nah, we mm -hmm. can't do this. I thought you were just, you know, wanting to talk to me. But we see that it's not that. So I got to bounce. And that's all he could have did. Now, was it childish that he kicked out her window? Yes, it was. But again, you'd rather keep him by you than have Portia by you because you're so scared of Portia. But this man is blatantly breaking out stuff, tearing up stuff, and you're scared of Portia. I'm like, can you sit down somewhere? I'm, I'm tired of your storyline. I can 
deal with Sheree's mess a little bit more than yours because your storyline is just on a man. Every season is a man. Yeah, and I I'm want I want to find out. She talking about no, something. No, get down. No. What she said, she was like, if I want to, I could bury you. I'm yeah, like, I'm what, like. What info you got on no, him? No, you're going to end up burying yourself because <laughs> it's going to make you look stupid because you're still messing with him. And you just constantly kept saying what you want to do. So you really giving him the choice to see if he wants to stay or go. Right. Stop, la. I'm like, girl, if you don't go on somewhere with this bull. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had. Don't be, that's my head. No. Okay. That's all we had for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She would definitely put the season I'm as well as the while. episode and the title of the episode. Because as we all know, she don't do that anymore like she used to do in the <laughs> beginning of us becoming a show. <laughs> A channel, okay. You don't got lazy. I ain't get lazy. Y'all, y'all, what is it then? Y'all know exactly what it is. First, it was the heat, now it's the the cold. We we just can't get it together with her. So, we hope (laughs) y'all enjoyed our rendition of the recap review of the Housewives of Atlanta that aired this Sunday on Bravo, the 11th of December. All right, y'all take care and uh, keep watching us, keep subscribing, and keep telling people about us and like and share our videos. Okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, y'all? You see? Oh, no professionalism. Bye bye. <laughs> Ciao.